Escape from Tethys, I think is how you pronounce it. This is uh, developed and published by uh, Sometimes You as well as Mis uh, Whimsical. Uh, this game is a uh, Metroidvania game. Being played on Nintendo Switch. I really do enjoy uh, Metroidvanias. Uh, they're some of my favorite, one of my favorite genres, along with uh, classic RPGs. It does take a minute to load. There's a lot <laughs> to the game, but uh, uh, it is a, a 2D side-scrolling um, um, uh, Metrovania. Set in a uh, futuristic setting. Oh. So you do have the uh, left analog stick or D-pad to move move around. Uh, B button to jump. Um, a button for a secondary weapon that has um, that has uh, limited. Uh, Shots, and then you've got the unlimited blaster. That's the Y button, and then X doesn't do anything. At least not yet. If, if it does do something, I haven't unlocked it yet. And plus button gives you your map. Plus options. Much to do with options, just audio options. I go back to the title and then close the menu. And then the uh, minus button actually doesn't do anything. You can, oh, whoa, you can shoot upwards. I'm trying not to get hit, and that just isn't working very well. Uh, if an enemy does see you, it will kind of camp there at the edge. It does automatically walk back, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, one thing I do not like about the game is when you go to jump, it won't always register as a jump, which is kind of annoying. Which will cause you to fall uh, either into an unwanted pit or into some lava or acid or something else or get hit by an enemy. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Okay. So for a game that kind of relies on timing for its jumps, it's not very reliable and borderline broken. But, I mean, if it's something that you're anticipating and you know that'll happen, you can compensate for it. I went in a circle, didn't I? Yes, I did. That was cool. Cool. Wow. I haven't figured out yet what's making those earthquakes. Now, if you do die, you do start back at the last save point. See, just like that. I went to jump, and it didn't register. That's... Mm, that's not good for a game like this at all. But really, that's my only nitpick with this game. The 
art style's great. The music's great. I, I think about this, this game is really awesome. With the exception... Of the jumping mechanic, or lack thereof. If that beetle sees me, he's gonna camp on that edge. I'm never gonna make that. I would never have made that jump. I call it a beetle. I really don't know what it is. Oh, sting butterfly! <laughs> and I'm back here. So yeah, I mean, aside from whoa, aside from the uh, the jumping mechanic, game's awesome. If you're a fan of Metroidvania games, definitely worth checking out. This game just be uh, just be aware that there is an issue with jumping. I'm not sure if that's going to be working out in a patch or or what, but that's not only on my Switch, uh, my original Switch, but also on my Switch Lite that happens. So there's not it's not a it's not a matter of it uh, of there being a delay between the button press and like a, like a like a lag issue, if you will. It's just that's the way the game was uh, was made, and I really do hope that. That gets addressed in a patch. If it can be patched out. I also wish I could duck. He can't duck either. Unless I don't have that ability yet. That is a, that is a possibility. there's times where I don't think about my health I just keep going <laughs> and die as a result alright so this has been um, uh, escape from uh, Tethys, Tethys, Tethys however you want to say it <laughs> um, I want to thank some of you for the review code uh, the game's great definitely recommend this game and, uh, yeah, that'll do it. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.